my gosh. We look like we've been styled together, Carla. Know, it totally looks like we planned this, but we totally <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Hi, Rory. Hey, Miss Thing. How you Hi. doing? I'm good. good. Baby, this series had me hollering out loud because I think everybody knows a Diane, right? Mm-hmm. 100%. Yes. So who was like the Diane of, of Canada? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, you're part of Canada because I know there's numerous ones. Oh, there's so many. You know, I think the big thing, and you know, I said the exact same thing that you did when I first read the script. I was like, I know this woman. Like there's, there's, she's an amalgamation of so many people I feel like that we all know. And if you don't necessarily uh, have this person in your life, you've encountered Diane's, you know what I mean? She is a, she is a very special, uh, type of lady, I think, which is amazing. I love her. Yeah, she is. How about you, Rory? Oh, I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, with a oh, single so I mom. I know y'all got some in Cleveland. Oh, we've got, yeah, we've got <laughs> plenty. Um, and I had a single mom and I was raised by like a bunch of Diane's and Irish pubs across Cleveland. So, <laughs> Oh, I love that. That is hilarious. I know in my family, the person that kind of like brings everybody to life and just is just crazy is my dad. Like my dad walks in the room and it's just like an instant party. Do you have a relative that is that person for you? I'll start with Rory. Yeah, my mom. My mom is like, I mean, my mom worked in an Irish pub and, uh, and enjoyed time in an Irish pub. I, I literally went to Irish pubs as a kid and that was my favorite place to be. So, uh, my, my eighth birthday party was at Patty's pub in Cleveland, Ohio. So yeah, it's my mom. She's the leader of, of all of her friends and of our family. And like, I'm so lucky to have, someone like that in my household, you know, growing up as a kid. I kind of love that you were in a pub at eight. What was, what was your drink of choice at eight years old? <laughs> um, <laughs> they only they only let me have uh, Shirley Temples. Uh, that's as far as it got for me. But I didn't even get like Shirley Temples until I was like 13, you know. Um, but I used to bust tables and everything. I wanted a, a job because my mom worked there. So I wanted a, a I wanted to also earn money while I was there listening to Irish music. Um, and that's just, that's kind of just the culture of, you know, the Midwest. <laughs> it's like, I know uh, I'm from Missouri. I get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like everyone works really hard during the week. And at the end uh, on the weekend, you, you go to the pub and you, you have to know how to party, <laughs> how to relax. It's like a prerequisite to grow up in the Midwest, right? Yeah. How about you, Lauren? Yeah. <laughs> Who, oh, who's look, that person I, for you and your family. Look, if I'm being honest and I, I know this sounds loaded, but I think the answer is me. I, uh, <laughs> I, I believe that there's been, a, there was more than a few times recording this show where I would be like the line blurs sometimes. Uh, I think, you know, when I realized I showed up to a record wearing a t-shirt that said dog, mother, wine lover, I realized that I was like, I, I can draw on parts of myself. Um, not that I, I would consider myself a full Diane. I don't, but I definitely relate in certain ways. Uh, so yeah, I would consider myself to be the one in the family. That's the life of the party. I'm definitely the person that's going to say, let's get the round of shots going. Um, and I feel like we have a kinship, uh, Rory, because growing up in Canada, I feel like is a fairly similar experience. And I also had a single mom. So I feel like right off the bat, we're, uh, we're, we're learning new things about each other already. And I, I'm loving this. This is nice. Good. Cool, cool. What was that moment where y'all realized that when somebody addressed you, you realized, oh, I'm not, I'm old. <laughs> I am uh, not 20 anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Daily. This happens to me daily, I feel like, anymore. Um, oh, so many things. I, I had, I'm in Hamilton and, you know, you know, I had to bring it up. But of course you did. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring stop. it up. I wasn't gonna bring Don't it up, but I'm gonna let stop, you bring it up. Please. Oh, oh, man. Uh, At H so, show. <laughs> yeah, but I'm the old man in Hamilton. I'm the oldest person in the cast, always. Because no, they're no. these young dancers. And I told somebody in my cast recently, I said, You were so wonderful tonight. And they said, Thank you. That means so much coming from you. I studied you in school. What? <laughs> I said, what is that? What does that mean? And how dare you? And how dare you? Rude. <laughs> Rude. Like, so nice. But what did you study? I didn't, you know, like it was just, it was very sweet. 
And also I got my cane and my walker and went back to my dressing room and cried. <laughs> And I think that is the perfect way to end this interview, talking oh. about your cane and your walker. It was wonderful to see you both again. Thank you so, so much. You too. Bye. Good to see you, Carla.